Hello again. I've just been having a few experiments using shaving foam with some luscious powders mixed with water. Um, I thought I would, I've got some, a little of each of the colours still in my pots. So I thought I would try, instead of using shaving foam this time, using a little of my homemade embossing paste. I've got the recipe somewhere uh, on one of my videos for how to make it. So here's my embossing paste in a salt pot. It keeps really well for quite a while. So, um, you know, if you want to make it, you can look, you can keep it. So what I thought I would do, I don't know if this is going to work, spread a little through my stencil. This is a Lavinia stencil. And then with the stencil still in place, drop some of this liquid onto the top. I've never dropped liquid onto embossing paste before. So there's always one way to find, <laughs> find out, isn't there? So let's just put some along the top. There we go. Now I think I'll drag this through with my squeegee thingy. Oops, there we go. Not quite sure how successful this is going to be, but there's one way to find out. Right, I was always told that you shouldn't do too many passes when you're doing a stencil, but uh, just try to get it in the places I want it and not all over my fingers like I've got here. Anyway, let's see. Let's just see what happens. I've got a dropper here, and these are my colours of um, luscious powder mixed with water. Just a little water in the bottom of a, a little beaker thing. Let's just see. This one is lime spritzer. Isn't it fun? Okay. The next one is Peacock. Give it another little stir up. It's tended to settle a little bit. Give it a stir so I can get as much of the pigment up. Okay. Have a little of this. This is a dropper that came with some, I think they were called aqua tints or something, which I haven't used for a long time, which I probably should dig out from under my table and um, and use. Okay. And the last one is, it's just called green. And funny enough, it's green. <laughs> right, let's try this chap. It's a lovely mix of uh, shades. It reminds me of sea and leaves and all sorts of organic things. Now, what to do next? I think, just wondering whether to drag that across the top. Let's try it. Interesting. These pigments contain all sorts of shades that appear differently on different backgrounds. So if you have a dark background, it often f seems different from a light. Let's just have a look and see. Whoa, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh my word, I love that. Fab. Let's try another one. I'm getting on a roll here, people. Let's try another one. Um, I will wipe this up. Seems like a bit of a... No, I won't. I'll just smoosh something into that. because It just seems a bit of a waste otherwise because it looks kind of nice. Oh. 
I like smooshing. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Right, let's, um, that's a bonus. Now I'll wipe it up. Ooh. I could almost, excuse me, I could almost do this, look. That's quite nice, isn't it? Hmm. All these extras from the cleaning up. Let me just uh, wipe this properly and then we'll do one more. And... Uh, I think that will be it for my backgrounds for today. Otherwise, I'll be inundated with backgrounds. Okay. Let's do one more. Okay, which shall we do? Let's do... Shall we do the C? This one always should make this from Neat and Tangled. always makes me think it's like ocean or something. Um, no, I won't. I'll do. I'll do these leaves. Let's put these leaves. I love these. This is another Lavinia. Another Lavinia stamp. There's still a little bit of sticky on the, on the back. Okay. Now some of my homemade embossing paste. It's literally just white acrylic paint, white glue, and talcum powder. I guess you could use cornstarch. I think there's a bit of a thing about talcum powder, isn't there? They're thinking of some connections with some sort of problem. So I think cornstarch would work just as well, to be honest. Or corn flour, as we call it in the UK. I used to be bilingual, you know, I lived in the States for a few years in the 70s, so I did learn all the right words, like faucet and that kind of stuff. Right, there we go. Just trying to get it smooth, never mind. Right, let's add some of my colour. Give it another mix up because it tends to separate a little bit if you leave it too long. You can make a palette of um, luscious powders. You know, if you use a, a like a Tim Holtz palette or something, you can mix the luscious powder with, with water and it will dry into a little cake, just like a, a watercolour cake. So um, you can then use it as you would any watercolours, which is really worth knowing, I think. Mix this one's nearly gone. Right. I might be able to use this one all up actually. Yeah. Just about done. That's excellent. I don't like it to go to waste. And the last one, this is just green. I might use this one up as well. Next time I mix with water for one of these experiments, I won't mix quite as much and then I won't have any waste. Okay, here we are. Now, what I did before was just to drag it over. Oh, look. Looks like I'm going to have lots to pick up as, again from underneath. Oh, look. Isn't that lovely? I will never use the whole of that all in one card anyway, but isn't that beautiful? The sheen and shimmer on that. I don't know if you can see it. It's fab. So, I will let my backgrounds dry. Um, I started to, to dry some of the, um, the shaving foam ones with my heat tool. 
but it's interesting. I didn't scrape the, the, the shaving foam off like you would in, an, in the ordinary way, but um, I'm going to put some more of this on here. Um, it's a very subtle sort of finish, so I'll, I'll make some cards with that and show that as well. Some bit of the texture on there as well, just to add a bit to it. This will all come in handy for various effects, either for die cutting or backgrounds or whatever. Wonderful. So, watch this space, everybody. Great things are coming. Thanks so much for watching.